The U.S. might pride itself on its can-do attitude, and Americans might think that the USA is best at everything, but this is simply not the case. In fact, many countries surpass the United States in a great variety of activities. Australia is one such country. A huge country, yet sparsely populated, Australia outstrips the United States in a number of areas. And to find out what those areas are, we present to you the five things Australia does better than the United States. When it comes to dangerous, venomous animals, no country in the world can beat Australia, and certainly not the USA. Not only does Australia have more deadly snakes than the USA, it has the most dangerous and venomous ones in the entire world. With a total of 140 venomous land snakes and a further 30 venomous sea snakes, Australia takes the prize when compared to the paltry 20 venomous species of snake in the United States. The inland taipan is the most venomous land snake in the world and its bite means instant death without anti-venom with a mortality rate of 100% if left untreated, and it lives exclusively in Australia. By way of contrast, the most dangerous venomous snake in the United States is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, and the mortality rate from a bite lies at only 30%. Australia simply has no competitors in the Department of Lethal Serpents, and the United States lags woefully behind here. Compared to many countries, especially the United States, Australia has a comparative advantage in the production of mineral commodities. This stems from a rich and diverse mineral endowment, high-quality regional-scale geoscience information, which lowers the risks of exploration, advanced exploration, mining, and processing technologies, a skilled workforce, and generally benign physical conditions and low population density. These factors mean that modern mining can be undertaken in line with increasing community expectations for environmental and social performance. Moreover, Australia simply has more and better mineral resources when compared to the USA. Australia is the world's leading producer of rutile, zircon, bauxite, iron ore, the second largest producer of alumina, gold, lithium, manganese ore, lead, and zinc, and the third largest producer of uranium, and the fourth largest producer of silver, nickel, and black coal, and possesses $1.588 trillion worth of metal and ore reserve. The USA, on the other hand, does not meet Australia in any of these categories, with the exception of gold, and only holds a measly $613 billion total in mineral and ore reserves, not even half of what Australia has. So if you want to get rich mining, Australia, not the USA, is the place to be. Unsurprisingly, Australia outpaces the USA by a long shot when it comes to the sport of cricket. In fact, historically, Australia has had the best cricket teams in the world, hands down. The United States is so bad that no team from the United States has even made it onto the top 10 cricket lists of the world. People actually do play cricket in the United States, though it is not nearly as popular as it is in Australia. But facts are facts, and the United States is just far worse at cricket than Australia ever has been or likely will be. The United States marginally surpasses Australia in terms of beef production although Australia comes close, but it does not hold a candle to the number of sheep it has or in terms of the sheep landing on people's plates. In fact, the USA is nowhere to be seen in terms of sheep-related matters, whereas the land of Oz is always in the top five. Australians consume a whopping 16 pounds of lamb meat per capita and are the world's number two country in terms of sheep rearing, just after China. Cheap, delicious, and affordable, if you want good lamb, you have to go to Australia and will have to settle for beef or chicken in the United States. In the area of the most livable cities, Australia has the United States beaten by a wide margin, with Melbourne being consistently ranked the most livable city in the world since 2011, Adelaide being ranked 5, and Sydney being ranked at 13. Guess what? Not a single American city makes it to anywhere close to these Australian cities. Well, I suppose it's time for all of us to move to Australia then. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching. And thanks for learning.